Have you ever found yourself staring at a painting wondering what the heck is going on in it? That's exactly how Las Meninas by Diego Velazquez makes you feel. At first glance, it looks like a simple portrait of some people hanging out in a room. But as you start to examine the details, things get a little weird. Hmm. Why is it so busy in the room? What's their relationship with each other? And who are these people? Well, fear not, my friends, because I'm here to guide you through the wacky world of Las Meninas and explain just what the heck is going on in this painting. Before we dive in, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy our videos. So, we're looking at a very interesting painting here called Las Meninas by Diego Velázquez in 1656. The full title of this painting translates to The Maids of Honor in English. Velázquez was a Spanish painter who served as a court painter for King Philip IV of Spain. This painting is considered one of Velázquez's greatest masterpieces and a masterpiece of the Baroque period. This painting has puzzled and intrigued art lovers for centuries. The painting takes place in what appears to be a royal chamber, with rich red curtains and ornate decorations adorning the walls. The young princess depicted in this painting is Infanta Margarita Teresa, the daughter of King Philip IV of Spain and his second wife, Mariana of Austria. At the time the painting was created in 1656, Infanta Margarita Teresa was about five years old. In this painting, she is the focal point with Velázquez expertly capturing her delicate features and youthful innocence. She's dressed in a luxurious white gown with a jeweled bodice and lace trim. Her hair is styled in a fashionable updo with a few loose curls framing her face. Aside from Infanta Margarita Teresa, there are several other characters depicted in Las Meninas by Diego Velázquez. The painting features a group of her ladies-in-waiting, or Meninas in Spanish, who are attending the princess. There are also two dwarfs present in the painting, one of whom is standing by the princess's side and the other who is sitting on the floor at the right-hand side of the painting. We also see a man and woman in the foreground, a man on the staircase, as well as the painter itself, which sparked a lot of controversy over what he was doing in the painting. And who exactly was he painting? And of course, let's not forget about our big friend over here, who will wake up any minute now due to being stepped on. The woman on the right and left side of the princess are her ladies-in-waiting, or meninas in Spanish. On her left is Doña Isabel de Velasco, who is poised to curtsy to the princess. And on her right is Doña Maria Agustina Sarmiento de Sotomayor, who kneels before Margaret Teresa, offering her a drink from a red cup, or bucaro that she holds on a golden tray. The inclusion of the ladies-in-waiting is a nod to the importance of the princess and her position within the royal court. It's interesting to note that the two ladies-in-waiting are depicted in such a way that their gazes are directed outside the painting, as if they're looking out towards the viewer. This adds to the overall sense of depth and engagement of the painting, drawing the viewer in and inviting them to participate in the scene. We also see two dwarfs in this painting, their names are the achondroplastic German Marie Barbola and the Italian Nicolas Pertusato. It's also worth noting that the inclusion of the dwarves in the painting was unusual for the time, as they were typically not depicted in formal portraits. However, King Philip IV had a fondness for dwarves and often included them in his courtly activities, which may be why Velázquez chose to include them in this painting. They definitely make the painting much more creatively inspiring. There are also two people standing in the right corner in the dark. However, their identities are unclear and have been the subject of much speculation and debate among art historians. Some believe that they may be members of the royal family or other important figures at court, while others suggest that they could be representations of the artist himself and an assistant. We also see a small but significant detail that often goes unnoticed. A small, scrappy-looking dog lying on the floor next to the two dwarves. While the dog may seem like a minor addition, it's thought to be a symbol of loyalty, as it appears to be guarding the young princess, Infanta Margarita Teresa. The ambiguity of these figures adds to the overall mystery and intrigue of this painting, inviting the viewer to speculate and engage with the work on a deeper level. It's also interesting to note that the contrast between the brightly lit foreground and the shadowy background creates a sense of depth and perspective drawing the viewer's eye towards the center of the painting and emphasizing the importance of the young princess at the heart of the scene. Another person catches our attention immediately in this painting. It's the man in motion on the staircase. He's thought to be Don José Nieto Velázquez, the chamberlain to Queen Mariana, who is also depicted in the painting. 
His presence adds to the overall sense of depth and complexity of the scene, as well as the grandeur of the royal court. It's interesting to add that the man in the background is shown in such a way that his role and significance is somewhat ambiguous. He's also shown in a way where it's hard to determine whether he's going inside or outside of the house. He's rendered in silhouette and appears to hold an open curtain on a short flight of stairs with an unclear wall or space behind. This adds to the mystery and intrigue of the painting and invites the viewer to speculate about the relationships and dynamics between the various characters depicted. Now we're getting to one of the most intriguing aspects of the painting. It's the presence of a mirror in the background of the painting, which reflects the images of two figures. These figures are believed to be King Philip IV and Queen Mariana, and their presence in the painting adds a layer of complexity and political significance to the work. The inclusion of the royal couple in the mirror may be interpreted as a way for Velázquez to emphasize his close relationship with the king and queen and his role as court painter. It also highlights the power and prestige of the Spanish monarchy during this period and serves as a reminder of the close ties between the royal family and the arts. The overall main reason that the people in the mirror are important is because they add a sense of intrigue and mystery to the painting. It's as if we, the viewers, are being given a glimpse into the private lives of the royal family. And the fact that we can't see their faces only adds to the sense of enigma. It's like a game of hide and seek with the Spanish monarchy, and it's one that we're still playing to this day. And, well, it seems that Velázquez couldn't resist putting himself in the painting. Like a classic selfie before they were cool. But in all seriousness, his inclusion in the painting is seen as a statement of his status as a court painter, and his ability to capture the essence of the royal family in a way that no one else could. It's like saying, hey, I painted this and I'm pretty darn good at it. Plus, it adds a fun little Easter egg for art historians to find and marvel at. Now, Velázquez was a Spanish painter known for his mastery of the Baroque style and his ability to capture the essence of his subjects in a way that was both realistic and empathetic. He was a bit of a rebel in his time, and his willingness to experiment with new techniques and styles helped him to become one of the most celebrated artists of his era. The meaning behind Las Meninas by Diego Velázquez is a subject of much debate and interpretation among art historians. However, there are several key themes and ideas that have been suggested over the years. One of the most commonly accepted interpretations is that the painting is a celebration of the Spanish monarchy and the role of the artist as a court painter. The composition of the painting, with a young princess surrounded by her ladies-in-waiting, suggests a sense of intimacy and domesticity that reflects the ideals of the Spanish court at the time. The inclusion of the mirror, the figures in the background, and the artist himself have also been interpreted as a commentary of the nature of art and representation. Some have suggested that Velázquez is making a statement about the power of art to create illusions and to manipulate reality, while others see it as a self-referential nod to the role of the artist in society. The outcome of Las Meninas was a resounding success, cementing Velázquez's reputation as one of the greatest painters of all time. It now hangs in the Prado Museum in Madrid, where it continues to draw crowds of art enthusiasts and scrappy-looking dog enthusiasts alike. And as for its measurements, well, let's just say that it's bigger than your average puppy portrait. At over 10 feet tall and 9 feet wide, it's a painting that demands attention. And plenty of wall space. Overall, the painting is a masterpiece of Baroque art that invites the viewer to engage with its complex themes and imagery on multiple levels. Its enduring appeal lies in its ability to provoke discussion and debate about the nature of art, power, and representation. What's your theory on this painting? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. See you in the next one.